Well, my full name is Nancy Irene Little. Um, I'm 85 now. I'm widowed. My husband died very suddenly 20 years ago. I've always had good eyesight, and I really can't say when the macular degeneration started. But I can remember one time I walked into the house with my husband. We went into the bedroom, and I remember saying to him, what can you see? And he itemised all the furniture in the bedroom. And I remember at the time, I can remember that very clearly, that I couldn't see any of the things that he could see. I got to the stage where I wouldn't take a book outside to read it because it was, it was too long standing there waiting for my eyes to adjust. But I just thought my eyes were slow to adjust. I never, I don't think I'd heard of macular degeneration. When I finally went to an ophthalmologist, I was diagnosed as having age-related macular degeneration and I'm now diagnosed as being legally blind from age-related macular degeneration. And naturally, when you find out that you're legally blind and you can't do the things that you always thought you were going to do in your old age, or you feel you can't do them, there are times when I do get a bit down, but then I think, well, I had my eyesight for 80 years. It, it's more frustrating than anything, having the peripheral vision you can see around me, but anyone walking towards me, I can just see an outline. If I meet people, I have to you know, say, who are you? Which has an advantage sometimes if you can't remember a name, <laughs> you, you're up on top. One of my most treasured aids is my talking watch. And so I just press the button, that's it. It's marvellous, it really is marvellous. And I don't think it's such a bad looking watch either. So there we are. <laughs> I, I do think there is an impact on my family. I'm not as useful to them as I used to be, I feel. You know, and I'm grateful when they ask me to do anything for them, like babysit, because it makes me feel useful. My most admired person, I would think, when I think about it, was my mother, because she had very bad arthritis in an era where there wasn't much treatment for it. In spite of everything, she really led a rather full life. The minute you walked in, is, will you stay and have a meal with us? You never went hungry, and you never were not welcome. You know, maybe there are some of my mother's traits in me because it would be a help to me if I do take after her in that way. It would be absolutely wonderful if in the future a cure could be found for macular degeneration, for my children's generation and my grandchildren's generation, for all people. I would encourage everyone to donate to the Foundation's Research Grants Program to find a cure for macular degeneration.